Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 from his tiny home in Fort Clark Springs, Texas, near Brackettville, Texas. It's a little under 400 square feet. And what's going on behind the... Well, actually, it's showing to be blue, but that's kind of a turquoise color. And thanks again for that original painting. I appreciate it. But anyway, we're going to go look inside the... What's behind the... Well, in this case, looks like blue door. But yeah, this up here, this is just slides, okay? Like this. Enter my place. Okay, here we are in the bedroom, okay? As you can see, I have an oscillating fan, a dehumidifier, and a rack. And I'll show you more about that in a minute. And then right here is a 6,000 BTU air conditioner, remote with a remote, okay? And then this is the bed carefully made by me. And we'll show you more as we go, okay? What we have over here is a Polonis tower heater with remote so that I can control all the heating and cooling from right there where the remotes are placed. And we'll start, let's start on this side over here, okay? What we have here is a five shelf miscellaneous place, okay? And, and it's just what I, what I said. It's just what, whatever I couldn't find a place for went on these shelves, okay? And you get a lot of that stuff, particularly when you move around like I do. And right here, we got a temperature gauge that's approximately bed height. And it shows that it's 68 in here right now. And the time, that's, I keep, I don't change the time for, you know, the spring forward and fall back stuff. I just leave it one way. And then uh, that's this up here, the top shelf on that rack. That's what I kind of call the throwing shelf because that's tough stuff I take off and just throw up on the shelf. Mostly, it, and it's some jogging pants and stuff. And most of this is winter clothes, okay, on this rack. And, of course, that's where my shoes are. That's my Merrells. Those are some Timberline or whatever they call them. And Crocs, of course. And then over here, the lighting's not all that great. But, again, over here we got one shelf vacant. And then... Uh, I don't know, some winter stuff, some ammo, uh, winter stuff, and T-shirts. And then we'll go on around here, and I'll show you some more. And then we got uh, some window coverings here. This is what, would, these window coverings were here. That Notice you know, they fit perfectly. <laughs> little opening at the top, right? Anyway, but they got roosters on them, and I was born in the year of the rooster. And so that's why they stayed. And that is a, uh, like a TV tray. It's got legs on the back that fold out, and I use it at night for my evening snack. And so I just keep it right there. And whenever I'm traveling in my my cool camp, runaway cool camp trailer, I'll have that right by the bed too. And this is the dirty clothes hamper, so to speak. And then over here, some, I don't know if somebody sent me this tray or I ordered it. But anyway, it's an aluminum tray and it's a big, uh, excuse me, folding table. And it's a good one because it's big, okay? And I keep a little flashlight there and that's the controller for the heater. That's the controller for the air conditioner. That's a scratch pad with a pen. Because sometimes I wake up at night and think, you know, that'd be a good idea. So I make a note of it so I don't forget it. And that's a holder for the uh, Kindle while I'm reading. I put it on the deal right here. Put the Kindle in that little holder and just read away and have my little snack. And that's olive oil's bra that I use for keeping the light out of my eyes at night if there is any. And that's a mind changer right there. That's a 12-gauge pump. Will it work? Yeah. yeah. It'll clear a brush at 30 feet. And then this little light here is... Perfect mundo for the evening, okay? When I turn off this ceiling light, then I turn this on. Notice the light switch is put right here where I can reach it handily from the bed. Dink, and then that turns this light on. But it's just a little bitty bulb. I think it's like six, six watts or whatever it is. It just puts out just a nice, soft light to read by, okay? And so I'll turn that off now. But notice how it's electrically wired to be right here handy for me to get my little finger on and turn it off. And there's some clinics if I need them. Also a calendar from the local bank. But you see how carefully I wired this? See that? Got a nice imported metal hook down this way to an expensive tack. And then down this way. And then over here it plugs into the wall. So all that was well planned. Okay, and then I've got three pillows. That's what I call a wedge. And I've, I've been using that for years. It's just good to elevate your head at night a little higher than your tummy. And uh, what else uh, over here is another rack, and uh, that's just a file cabinet, and that's some miscellaneous stuff I had in the Class C motorhome. Uh, this is a little deal for a cooler where you put those little uh, 
ice packs, you know, things you can freeze and use them over and over and over. I just put them in there and take cool stuff with me. And then that's a tripod I rarely use. And most of this is spring and summer stuff. And then this is under, oh, excuse me, that's t-shirts, underwear, socks. Uh, yeah, that, that. And then up here, there's some extra clinics. And then that's the uh, bucket of honor. And then over there, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's shorts, uh, summer shorts. So yeah, that's the bedroom, guys. So whenever you're designing your new home, you can use this plan uh, for your own home. It, oh, there was a door here. There was a door, like a 36-inch door here, right here. And notice that it's gone, okay? And the reason it's gone, it was hinged on this side. So when the door opened, it opened right here against this. Genius, huh? Well, you, anyone would say, well, hell, Rusty, just turn it around, move the hinges, and have it open this way. Okay, well, you open this way, guess what you can't have? You can't have this. So, and I didn't want the damn door anyway, so that's why we came up with this, and I'll walk out and close this, and this will be the end of the video. Okay, anything else you think of, Rusty? Uh, not offhand, man. It's, uh, it's pretty neat, you know, controlling the heat and the air conditioner from the bed right there and then having that little nightlight works pretty good. The fan works, and it's reversible. Uh, and uh, what else? Uh, yeah, it works. The, the, yeah, I just I don't want to turn it on now. But anyway, what else? Uh, that's about it, guys. So let me get out here, yabba dabba do, and close the door to the, the green or blue room or whatever you want to call it. And that takes care of that, guys. So from Fort Clark Springs on a cool morning here, not cold, just cool. It's 68 inside or 66. And with that in mind, we're going to end right where we began. Thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. Click on the link, enjoy your life, keep your health, and boy, I'm telling you, the older you get, your health's important. Keep your health, guys. Adios. And the next room we'll do, uh, we'll probably do the living room, bathroom, kitchen, and then we'll do the patio, okay? And that'll be it. And I'm doing this as much for my own uh, memory as anything else. So, so later on, if I want to look back and see what this home looked like, I'll have a series of videos I can watch. Isn't that smart? Anyway, adios, guys. Bye-bye.